Peace and blessings and welcome back to my channel, West Coast Finest Hair and Dance. So yes, I am starting off with giving my client a deep head and scalp massage. Yes, ladies, if your stylist is not doing this before she starts your hairstyle, please just ask. This is very important and very essential to starting any hairstyle. Making sure that the client's hair and scalp is moisturized really well, that it's not dry, that it's not brittle, and also stimulating and motivating those hair follicles. We want to promote hair growth and not hair loss. And one of the most essential ways of promoting hair growth is by stimulating your scalp and your hair follicles. Yes, yeah, so this deep massage is going to, one, give her hair some love yes our hair is lacking love and some what tlc so yes now i'm going into my brushing process this is again another essential method in starting any hairstyle make sure that you are getting your hair and your scalp brushed I am using a regular bristle brush and it is going to encourage and enhance her hair. Yes, it's going to encourage her hair by promoting some hair growth, especially in those areas where she has hair loss. And there are many essential benefits to brushing. So yes, brushing stimulates the hair follicles by promoting better circulation. Yes, circulation in the hair follicles, it increases the blood circulation, it strengthens the roots, and it encourages hair growth. Yes, another great benefit from brushing is it distributes your natural hair oils throughout your hair strands. Yes, you have natural hair oils that are in your scalp and when you are brushing it pulls those oils from the scalp throughout the hair strands and that is also very important. It also detangles the hair. You want to make sure that the hair is detangled before you start combing and before you start braiding or continuing on with whatever hairstyle you're going to get. So yeah, there are many, many benefits to brushing your hair. So make sure that your stylist is doing that. And if for any reason she doesn't naturally do it, then just ask. And if you do have a, a good hairstylist that cares about you, your hair, and hair growth, she will not mind or he will not mind making sure that they do that brushing. So again, continue to keep watching because I'm going to continue to keep brushing, making sure that I stimulate her scalp and her hair. And then I'm actually going to do what? Start her healthy braid pattern. Yes, I'm going to do a healthy braid pattern for her hair as well as for the style that she's going to receive. I am going to start braiding in the most healthiest, strongest part of her hair. And in the front, because she does have hair loss on her edges and on her sides, I am going to start by braiding this braid going down, which reduces a lot of the tension, the stress, and the pressure on her edges. I do not want to braid these edges going straight back. All that will do is add more stress more tension and more pulling on her edges which may in turn cause more hair loss and again i only want to promote hair growth not hair loss so again continue to keep watching and see how i complete this healthy braid style or this braid pattern for her and i will be back with more details on how to accomplish this beautiful crochet style that she is going to get
family so here is the completed braid pattern that i chose yes this is a mixture of braids and twists and as you can see i made sure that i customized it to the the hair loss in the damages that she does have in her hair the front i did those braids coming to the front why because i do not want to put any pressure and any tension on that front so those front braids are going forward and i also did a twist method and as you can see here i am customizing this net method yes I always customize my net because I want to make sure that this net is fitting as comfortable as possible on my client's hair. So as you can see, I am trimming off some of the net around her ears. This is something that you want to do because you want to make sure, again, that this net is comfortable because she is going to be wearing this style for at least four to six weeks. And sometimes the neck can come down and end right on the top part of that ear crease and it can create a lot of soreness there and you do not want that. So make sure that you are customizing the neck around the ear so that it fits comfortably. When I asked her, how does this feel? She said that feels absolutely great. And that's what we want. We want to make sure that it is comfortable. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side to make sure that it's comfortable. And here you can see I have already started crocheting. Yes, this is the most fun part. Crocheting these beautiful deep wave crochets onto the net. Yes, I'm going to show you a little closer up in a little bit of how I do my crochets. Now, just to give you some insight about this hair, this is some deep wave crochet hair or curls. They are uh, 12 inches long. And if there is, there the color is 1B and there is a highlight of a number 30. It's going to be mixed in with this. I'm going to show you the highlight when I get to that part in just a little bit. But I am loving these deep waves. Look at how this pattern is. Look how beautiful that is. And look how that 30 is highlighting that 1B. So yes, this hair has been really easy to work with. It does not shed. It does not do a lot of frizzing. It does not have a complete pre-loop at the beginning. However, it is very easy to split apart and the braid, um, the waves are keeping its pattern, which is what I really like. I hate when the wave curl has a pattern in the pack but when you install it, it looks totally different. I cannot stand that. So with these deep waves, and I, if I didn't show you, I will show you the exact package that it came in. But with these deep waves, they are keeping its pattern. And that's what I really love about it. Now, just as a quick tip, I do sometimes spray my crochets with some got-to-be glue holding spray because that will too help the pattern stay as you are installing and crocheting. So here's the part where I'm going to zoom in so that I can show you that I am only crocheting on the net. Yes, the majority of these crochets are only on the net and not her hair. Why? Because I want to reduce as much weight on her hair, as much pulling and as much tension. Right there, I am only sewing, I mean crocheting on the net. And this is what you want to do. Again, especially with those who have alopecia, hair loss, thin hair, damaged hair, you do not want to pull out their hair. You do not want to create more stress on the hair than need be. So crocheting only on that net is very essential and is very beneficial to the clients and to the client's hair to make sure that we are promoting hair growth and not hair loss and making sure that we customize the braid pattern because everybody's hair condition is different. So you cannot use the same pattern with every hair style or with every client. So again, here, as you can see, I pulled up some of the net to make sure that I'm only 
grabbing the net and then I'm doing a little twist did you see that twist that I just did that will give you a tighter knot the tighter that knot is the better the crochet fits and the better it lays when you let it go it makes it very versatile where you can lay that wave curl braid whatever you are crocheting you'll be able to move it to the left side the right side the front and the back so I like to get the tightest knot that I can oh my gosh look how that number 30 blends in it blends in so beautiful and it just gives this style a pop which is just what we want so please continue to keep watching so you can see how this beautiful style comes out these waves are looking absolutely beautiful it's coming out gorgeous and again continue to keep watching so that you can see the end results <music>
repairs. It, she says she is to me. that page. Did you know that? That you were responsible for all repairs in the living area that you were in? Uh, unless it was naturally occurred and it wasn't forced. I didn't maliciously do that. We had a conversation. It says that in there? Okay. She says it said the only way she's responsible is if she does it maliciously. I didn't. I, I have a sense. Rangers, the tenant room ain't well at its own expense. Keep and maintain the master bedroom, private bath, common areas of the house in good sanitary condition and repair during the term of this lease. So do you have the uh, amount that you pay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll still be able to get in all these. And this is what I was saying too. You're you can't even see no net. You still go on here and you your Miss T, uh, you can't see no net. I want people to know I am the net. I am. Like Let me see. Pull that back again. Let's see where you can't see no net. Huh. Can't see no net. Where's the net? It's in there. You just can't see it. Look at that. Look at that. You got a little scalp up there. I do? Mm -hmm. But the net is there, right? Yep. The net is right there. You can't see the net? You see scalp? You still see scalp. That's what it looks like. Scalp. You won't be able to tell it's a net. It just looks like scalp. Look at that. I can pull it back. Oh, That's you just it. Come, you, you just sending me back to, to Manteca. Yes. <laughs> Come back to Manteca for sure. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can make one side longer than the other if I wanted to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, you already working with it, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Already okay. working with it. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta stand up so you can see the back. Because I did cut it a little bit in the back so that the layer would be well, we, uh, did we use better. It on the from the knot? No, it won't come out. Now the only problem is I don't know how to um, take the take the take it down when it's time for me to get it done over. So all you gotta do is pull it to fill in there for your neck. Fill from my neck. Uh huh. Fill from your neck and cut a piece of the neck. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Right, feel for that I can net. Feel it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then cut that net. And then once you cut the net, the bigger braid that's back here, all you gotta do is take this one braid down and it leads to all the rest of the braids. Just the one. Okay. Right. So don't worry about, oh, I gotta cut all these out. The crochets, don't worry about the crochets. Once you cut that net uh -huh. and you start taking these braids down, the crochets are gonna fall off. Around this permit, mm -hmm. on the, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to call me. You know, I'll be texting. Sometimes, mm -hmm. like, what's she doing up? <laughs> Post lightning f